Now the final of the women's under. 57 kilo category. Matsumoto Kiori and uh, Udaka Nay. Not sure if I'll get my arm, um, get used to some of the use last name and then first. Japan, China, Korea, Mongolia, Hungary, I think, as well. It's very easy to get uh, used to using using it one way and then having to do it another. A little bit confusing, but uh, Nei Udaka and Kiori Matsumoto, if we put it in our in most Western countries, the way they use it, they are the two finalists in any event, both from Japan. Final of the uh, under 57 kilo category Matsumoto saw off um, Edvig Karakash in the semi-final Karakash had defeated had defeated Barbara Harrell in the first round last um, Nay. Udaka had beaten Hitomi Tokuhisa and Concepcion Bellorin of, uh, of Spain. That's how she got here. Udaka just um, picked up a warning there about uh, passivity. And then Matsumoto looking a little bit um, defensive. Third women's final of the day and the third gold medal that will go to Japan. Doesn't matter what happens here, the gold is going to Japan. Only one um, European has snuck into the other final. It was an all Japanese affair at 48. And Laura Gomez snuck in there at 52. But it's all Japan again at 57. And when we come to the under 63 kilo category, it's uh, Japan and Korea with Yoshi Ueno being the big favorite. Kong is going to have a hands full. She struggled, to be honest, against uh, Miki Tanaka. And I can't see her troubling Yoshi Ueno. Even though she'll be on our home ground. Tough fight between these two here. Matsumoto looking for the Uchimata and then falling away.
Well, it's always a bit tricky when the fighters are from the same country in the final. They tend to know each other so well. And it makes for sometimes a bit difficult uh, a match to watch. Samado looking to go over the top with the right arm and now trying to turn over but it wasn't there Matsumoto almost caught on the edge. Not sure if uh, Udaka was fully committed to that technique. Maybe she needed to throw absolutely everything there, but was just a slight bit tentative, and as a result, wasn't able to, um, to upset Matsumoto. Matsumoto wins it. 